In update 3.2.1, we added the ability to create and apply custom filtering to your lists and reports. Uh, so I'm going to show you an example of that here. Um, you should be familiar with our search box that's on the top right, and you can find these across the board on our reports and the rest of our lists. Search box is really great if I want to look for one thing. So if I want to find all of my Fords in my equipment list, I can just type it in. I can type in another model name. I can type in a make, for example, and they'll all show up here with that search box. But if I wanted to search for two search terms at the same time, it won't let me do it. I know I've got Fords and GMCs in my list, but because I typed them both into the same search box, it is only looking for both at the same time. So um, because it's not one or the other, it's not giving me any results. So we've added this custom filter feature so that way you can do that. You can ask for more than one search term and you can be a lot more specific and tell the system exactly what kind of results you're looking for. On our search box on the top right, I've got a new filter button here. It looks kind of like a funnel. So if we click on that icon, you are immediately presented with a filter builder. Now, if you've never made a filter before, this will be the very first thing that comes up. If you've saved the filter in the past, it'll look a little bit different, but we'll go over that. So let's say I want to do my example here. I want to search for two different makes of equipment at the same time, and I want to show both in my results. So I've got a condition section here. There's an or and an and if I wanted to mix and match conditions, which we'll go over shortly. Um, in this drop down box, it's going to show you all the different types of data points that you can filter by. Um, this is going to be different depending on which list you're on, which report you're on. So you're not going to get the same exact list uh, for every screen, but anything that's available to filter from you'll see here. So we're going to go ahead and choose make because that's what we're going to do for this example. I have a set of conditionals here that I can say uh, it exactly equals whatever I type into the box on the right. It, it contains whatever I have typed in the box to the right. So let's say I go ahead and, and do forward here. If I set it to equals, it has to exactly match this box. If I set it to contains, it means, okay, if I have you know a typo or something, but the word forward is in there altogether, it's still going to find it. So again, each of these drop down items is going to be either just regular text or maybe you know numerical type of value. The options you get here will be different depending on what you pick for your drop down. Since make is just a text box, these are the options that we get. So to be a little more flexible, I'm going to go ahead and say contains so that way it grabs everything. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit this plus or, which means either one of these is true then it's going to show up on my results list. So I'm going to go ahead and do make here as well. And I'm going to say this contains a GMC. If I wanted to do an and, I can also do another type of filter that has to match. So I can say maybe the fuel type, I want to make it, uh, we'll do contains again. We'll make it, uh, let's make it diesel. So the way I have this set up here, if, it's, if I have equipment that's either a Ford or a GMC and it uses diesel, then go ahead and show it on my, on my list. To the right of each condition, I have these red X's. So if I don't want a specific filter, or let's say I didn't want the fuel type, I can hit the red X and it'll get rid of it. You also have this option on the bottom to save this filter for later. So if I just hit apply, without hitting that, it'll show me my listing, but I won't be able to use this filter again. I'll have to go through the build process and specify the makes and everything. So if you wanna save this for later, go ahead and set this to yes. You're gonna get a name box here. You can call it whatever you want. So I'm gonna say a Ford and GMC oops, diesels. And that way I can always pull it up at a later time. I don't have to go through this again. So I'll go ahead and hit apply. So I've got my list of trucks. So I've got Fords here, I've got GMCs here, and these all have my diesel fuel type. So if we go ahead and show fuel type here, you'll see on the right, they're all diesels. If I wanna go back to my regular results, my filter icon has a, a red circle around it. If I hit this button, it's gonna clear it. So let's go ahead and do that. So now it brings it back to my regular list. If I hit the funnel again, 
notice it's got my save filter from last time. So if I want to ever go back to that, I can click the filter name. It brings me right back to my results. If I want to change that filter, I can hit the filter icon again, and I can hit manage. And this is going to show me the filter that I made before, and it's going to show me exactly what it's set up to do. Uh, if I click on it here, I can make an edit. So let's say I don't really care about the fuel type. I'll go ahead and hit the X on the right. And let's say I'm just looking for Ford and GMC. I don't care about the fuel type and hit save. So now it's updated here. I can apply it from here or I can go back into my list. The name has been updated. And now it's going to give me all my Fords and GMCs regardless of what I have set up for the fuel type. If I wanted to make a completely new filter, I can click new here, and then I can start off and build something something else, some other list that I want. This works across the board, so I can do the same with work order tickets. You can go into your parts list and say if you want to grab a specific manufacturer name, you can, or reorder quantity level, you can. Um, so it's very flexible. This also is available in our reporting system. So if you click on reports, Let's say we'll pull our equipment listing here. On the search box on the top right, I have the custom filter button again, so I can click on this. And I can make the same kind of filter uh, if I wanted to. Uh, let's go and do a make again. And let's say I'm gonna do forwards here. And we'll do the same thing with the GMC. And I can save it here. So now when I pull up this report, my equipment list, it's gonna filter out based on that criteria. I don't have make showing, so let's go ahead and put that in here. So you can see it's all Fords and GMCs across the board. And then if I wanna go back to my regular results, I can click on the clear button and it'll bring it right back to my regular results. Thanks for watching. You can find more video tutorials on our YouTube channel for more information about our software products, please visit our website at mtcpro.com.